all the ingredients are in the store. Okay, Krista. All the ingredients for this recipe are in the store. I uh, have a little, uh, oh, check the links below. Anything else, Krista? The recipe. The recipe will be down below. Uh -huh. What's up? This is Dan the Man with the Master Plan, and I've been wanting, this is kind of my new favorite snack lately. Here, you need to get in your chair, little sweetie. Here you go. Uh -huh. There you go. See if you can slide in there. Hopefully that's not ruining that. It's all good. No, it's good. Thank you. Hey, this is YouTube. This is live television. Dan McDonald TV, bringing you some great stuff. Uh, my cool knives. Don't you love these knives? Super sharp. Awesome. And for only 1995. I'm just kidding. Uh, they're in the store. That's what Krista's. Krista's job is in the store. This is a cool video. I got a, I got tomatoes. I got basil. I got some wakame, uh, seaweed, and a little cayenne. And this is like my favorite new snack lately. It's very satisfying, filling, mineral rich, and totally raw, baby. So I cut a tomato in half. And I take a little cayenne, and maybe you can see from where you are. I put a little cayenne on the plate here. And I take a little wakame, and I put that on the plate, which is just the seaweed. I think this is uh, harvested in China. Um, yep, China. Cool, man. I take the tomato half. I dip it in the cayenne. I dip it in the wakame. And then I wrap it around a basil leaf around it. Drop it in a basil leaf. Fantastic. Basil bombs. Mmm. Mm-hmm. Mm. Mm. Unbelievably delicious little snack. Now, of course, the cayenne is optional. If you're into it, you can use sea salt. But I feel like the wakame has plenty of sodium, lots of minerals. Just a great little snack to help you energize the tissues and cells in your body, which is the only way that I know that we can heal and regenerate. We were having a discussion in the, in the hot spring a little bit ago, and uh, some people were like, really digging on the life regenerator style you know like all excited about diabetes is e type 2 is easy to cure cancer you can get rid of that too they were all fascinated but I was also surrounded by a lot of skeptics who were particularly fond of um, high protein foods and uh, weren't too interested in uh, some of the things I had to say in fact I found them to get quite a bit offended uh, about my ideas about the possibility, the potential of uh, tissue regenerating issues like cancer and uh, pancreatic disease and whatnot by energizing and regenerating cells. And uh, to this very day, I got to tell you, uh, there's I've received thousands of testimonials, and for some reason recently they've just been pouring in. Like you wouldn't believe. I mean, people lost 170 pounds that I've never heard from them before. Dan, I've been watching your videos for a year. 170 pounds. Dan, I've been watching your videos for six months. I've lost 40 pounds and yeah, this and this is away. My doctor says that I have now normalized blood pressure. Thank you. Never heard from that person before. All these people just randomly writing me out of the blue. I've never talked to you before, but here's my testimonial. So, hey, if you want to send me your testimonial, Paste it on the uh, YouTube channel page, and let's see if this thing's working. Because like I said in the hot spring earlier, when several people got offended, I said, Hey, I've never seen the alkalization and detoxification for regeneration process not work when done properly. There was a lady, she said, a friend of mine had diabetes, and she tried the raw food, and it didn't work. And I said, well, what was she eating? And she was like, well, you know, she was eating all raw foods, you know, nuts and cashews and agave and everything that's not going to give you the plant food consciousness. It's always been the plants that are going to strengthen and energize cells in your body. Not agave, not cashews. It's not going to be about cashew cheesecake. It's not going to be about raw chocolate if you're going to heal up diseases and stuff like that. It's going to be about the bioelectrical vibrations and consciousness of raw plant foods, fruits, vegetables, and wild herbs, which I don't bring up too much on this channel because it's not that practical for people, but I encourage you 
to look into, here's the store-bought herbs, which is one type of herb, but there's also a lot of wild herbs. If you get a chance to gather dandelions sometime, or plantain, and toss some of those into your smoothie, you're doing yourself a huge favor by bringing that type of, of energetic power of plant foods into your life and into your diet. Check out botanical herbs, which have um, a lot of tissue-specific effects. Plants have consciousness that respond to cells in the body. Don't ask me. Ask God. He's the one that did it. Not me, man. I'm just following along with God and Mother Nature and doing their trip and trying to make it out of common sense. You know? You don't have to have all the hubbaloo and you don't have to have PhDs and huge levels of scientific knowledge to understand that energy is going to heal the human organism and raw fruits and vegetables has way more bioreactive energy than something that's been cooked or an animal. It's, it's not that hard to understand this stuff but one of the things that's really challenging is changing our habits and releasing our cherished um, our cherished beliefs. That's what happened in the hot spring today. There was, you know, a lot of cherished beliefs that such and such diseases cannot be cured. But I had to beg to differ as these people were asking me about it. And I was just telling them the truth to the best of my ability. And I've never seen a raw food diet done properly. Not cashew, coconut, cheesecake, and then nut burgers for lunch, and then nutty nut pile dessert for dinner. And then six months later, you wonder why you haven't lost any weight on the raw food nut diet. You can't eat just the nut diet and the fat diet and expect to get a lot of results if you're going to be on a raw food diet. You need the fruits and you need the vegetables, baby. I hope you got something out of this video. I sure did. I'm going to keep on spreading this word no matter what anyone says because when it comes up and people start asking me questions, something starts flowing through me like a river of power. And I am not going to give up because the world needs this big time, especially you, because I know you want to get healthy, be happy, have energy, lose weight, heal up diseases, get rid of arthritis, enhance your brain clarity and creativity in your life. So let's just keep energizing ourselves with fruits, vegetables, herbs, and soak nuts and seeds in small amounts to get the amino acids. A raw vegan diet done properly, pff, I don't know, 10 years later, you know what I'm saying? I'm still here. I'm not the biggest guy on the block. But I keep getting stronger and better and clearer and more in love with life every single day that passes me by. So I don't plan on going back to any animal products soon because I have the information that's required to continue on the raw, vegan, sustainable, long-term, save-the-planet kind of lifestyle. They were talking. We were just the, the conversation was about how meat and fish. It's just not, it's not sustainable. Because when all the deer are gone and all the fish are fished out, I don't, th then everyone's going to have to go back and eat the fruits with seeds, the herbs with seeds that grow every year. Because that's a sustainable, long-term human diet. But if we gonna, are going to fish everything out and we're going to continue to have the lust for the animal flesh, I don't know. It's going to... Humans might not make it. I'm personally not attached to it at all. If we make it, we make it. If we don't, we don't. And that's cool with me. I'm just going to live every single day of my life and do the best that I can with the passion that I have in my heart for health and the, the, the inner spiritual work, which is really what I live for, to become the best human being that I can be, to become a channel for the most divine. And I hope that you can do that too because that's how we're going to save the planet. Each and every single individual having hope, faith, and belief and allowing the large self to overpower the small self with its tiny little habits and, and clinging to preconceived, uh, propagated ideas that continue to pass down and be reprogrammed. So... Thanks a lot, you guys, and uh, subscribe to these videos and check the links below because I'll be going on to this for a long time to come. Peace.